The UK, Britain and other members of the G7 group of leading economies reached a deal on Saturday to squeeze tax havens and raise more revenue from large multinationals. While the change is likely to reduce incentives that global tech giants like Google and Facebook have been enjoying, it could also have some implication for South Korea. Our Kim Sung-min explains. Following the historic deal reached by the G7 group on a global minimum corporate tax rate, firms in South Korea are focusing on the possible implication for their operations. The G7 has taken significant steps this weekend to end the existing harmful dynamic, making commitments today that provide tremendous momentum towards achieving a robust global minimum tax at a rate of at least 15%. The deal was agreed on Saturday in an effort to end the decades-long race to the bottom where countries competitively lower tax rates to attract corporate giants. Regarding the deal, the Ministry of Economy and Finance said on Monday that South Korea could be affected should the G20 group reach the same agreement, although the impact would be highly limited. That's because the country's current minimum corporate tax rate is 17 percent, already above the G7 bloc's agreed minimum. The maximum rate, including local taxes, is around 27.5 percent, implying that subsequent adjustment in the country's corporate tax rates is highly unlikely. However, certain South Korean firms that are headquartered in jurisdictions where they are subject to little or no tax could be levied with more deductions, as companies with a profit margin of at least 10 percent must pay tax on profits in the country where they actually make sales, not just where they're based. The South Korean government said it is still assessing possible implications as there's no clear list of potentially affected firms yet. The country will be able to draw a clear picture once the deal is discussed further in detail at a meeting of the G20 in July. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.